Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Hey everyone, so it's Saturday and it's 10 to 10 and I am going to Slimming World. So today's video is going to be a follow me around what I eat in a day vlog. My hair looks crazy, I washed it this morning and uh, I haven't had time to properly blow dry it so it's flat and frizzy and I'll have to try and sort it out later but I'm just... Um, making myself a vitamin C to take to group to have after I've got weighed. So, this is what I like to have, the vitamins, I've showed this in a past video, but this is the Halibo Orange Vitamin C's, and these are vegan friendly and really good. They're $1.99 home bargains, but like about a fiver in um, Boots and Tesco, so definitely get them from home bargains. So I've just got a Lucasade bottle here, um, and I filled it with water. I'm just going to pop my tablet in there. Oh, there we go. And then let it fizz up and I'm going to have that in group after I've been weighed because I don't want to drink all that water now. Um, so yeah, that is what is happening. So I think that I have gained this week. Um, I haven't been the greatest the past couple of weeks. I mean, I've been, I've been good uh, for the most part, but I have been a little bit not making the best choices so I'm expecting a gain today um but I've just got to remain positive and remember that I've lost eight pound in the past three weeks so that's really good and if I get a small gain today I just have to look at the bigger picture and go hard the next couple of weeks because I want to be as good as I can until the 16th of December which is my last weigh in and then obviously it's Christmas so what happens after the 16th happens after the 16th and I'll face it in January but yeah if I do have a I don't think it's going to be a big game but it, I think it'd probably be a small one um I just have to stay focused come back um be better the next couple of weeks because I have explained in the video before that I've had like a few issues in the evenings eating too much because I'm not eating enough in the day so I need to plan a lot better um and that is what I'm going to do in these next couple of weeks just go really really hard I'm going to get back into the gym next week um and you guys can come with me there because obviously it's vlogmas so that should make a big difference um so yeah I've just got to basically face the scales this morning and go hard for the next couple of weeks Hey guys, so my mum's just arrived and she's made me these, how cute. Like little glittery, like wooden plaques that you stand up. There's a polar bear one, a deer and a bunny rabbit. How cute. Aren't they? I was pretty yeah. surprised they come out. I did it last night, stopped me eating. That's a good idea, good tip. I'm what vlogging, aren't I, because it's vlogmas. What are you doing? Are you filming them? Yeah, I'm just showing them. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. They're vlog worthy, aren't they? Yeah, there they are, they're cute. Hi everyone, so update, I put on a pound and my mum lost a pound and a half, so well done mum. Um, Don't get me in there. I won't. So I, yeah, put on a pound and um, it's annoying, but you've sucked it up. I've sucked it up and you've just got to look at the bigger picture and see how far you've come. And one pound is not, a huge setback I can get that off plus more next week so I'm all right um I'm just gonna keep motivated this week and I'm gonna start back at the gym like I said before so I think that'll spur me on um and I think because I didn't go to group last week I think that's how I've sort of slipped um so I do think going to group every week is a must but yeah that is the sitch that's the situation we're in pound up um yeah. Got yeah. Um, we're just going to stop in the co-op because my beaner have come up with like a winter spice flavour and it's completely free on Slimming World if you get the sugar free one. Um, and you're supposed to heat it up and it tastes like mulled wine. So we're going to go and see if we can find that and give it a go. But we're going to go to co-op, then I'm going to go home and make something to eat because I am famished. Hey everyone, so I'm home now and I'm going to make some lunch because I'm starved. I couldn't get my Ribena um, spice winter spice in co-op so I'm just gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for that um I in group I had a coffee a vitamin c and two apples and a banana I know two apples and a banana isn't like 
a, a massive breakfast but that's what I usually do on Saturday, on Saturday mornings just because I'm in group and it's quick and easy for me so that's what I've had for breakfast so I'm gonna have lunch now I don't know what I fancy but I'm gonna have a look in my cupboards and rustle something yummy up and I will show you what I'm having so my lunch is ready. I have just got a bowl of homemade soup that I took out the freezer. I made this soup about a week ago and I froze some. And it's just so quick and easy if you just want a hot meal to just to grab it out the fridge and just heat it up. So this is what I've got. I've got, it's just vegetable soup. It's just a load of different vegetables in there and I've just heated it up. And then I've also made a side of Slimming World chips in my Active Fry and yeah, that is my lunch. So I really, really love having something to dunk in my soup and I think chips are a really good option to go for. If you don't want to use your healthy extra B on a bread roll for your soup, if you just do some Slim and Wild chips, you just grab your chip, dunk it in your soup and eat it and it just makes the meal a little bit more filling if soup is something that doesn't fill you up. So yeah, I'm going to eat this now guys and I'll see you in a bit. So it's a couple of hours later, I've just been sat in front of the TV doing orders. I feel like that is my life at the minute, like all I do is sit in there and do orders but it's that time of the year where people are ordering a lot for Christmas presents and things. So I've just come out to get my afternoon snack. I'm going to have one of my naked peanut bars for seven and a half sins and a cup of tea and then I'm going to go and do about another hour's worth of work and then we're going to go out because it's Saturday and I want to get out of the house, I don't want to just be sat in doing orders. Um, so yeah, I need some fresh air and stuff. We were going to go out for tea, but then I thought, no, can't go out for tea because I want to I wanna have an early tea so that I can edit and upload this video because this video needs to go up today. So I think we might just go over to Rob's parents and have tea with them or something just to get me out of the house. And then, um, yeah, that is the plan. So I'm going to eat this now and I'll see you when I go out. Hello, I'm just popping to Tesco to get some stuff that we need in and then I'm gonna go home and cook tea with you guys um, show you what I'm having and then the plan is to go to Rob's parents house see them for a bit chill out with them watch some TV with them and while we're watching TV I'm gonna edit you guys and get you up tonight so that is the plan Hey guys, so I'm just back from Tesco and I just got a few bits that I needed to pick up. A few things I need to pick up. So I'll just quickly show you. I've got some panko breadcrumbs, which I'm gonna be using in which I'm gonna be using tonight in my tea, all will be revealed. Um then I got some of these. I saw these, these were on offer, uh, the Twinings Spiced Ginger. Um I thought these looked interesting. I love ginger and I love tea, so I thought I might give these a go. Um, then I just got some tomatoes, some cucumber, some rockets, just essentials really. Um, some satsumas because I'm loving satsumas at the minute. Um, some onions, some celery, um, some more almond milk and then lastly I got some pineapple fingers and some watermelon. These are three for 125 in Tesco and I thought these would be good for my nibbles tonight in front of the TV. That's why I got those. So yeah, I feel like today's vlog has been a little bit boring because I've been working. Um, so I think throughout Vlogmas, if I've got a work day like this, a heavy work day, I'll put up a content video because I feel like it'll be more interesting for you guys. And then when I'm actually doing interesting things throughout the day, I'll daily vlog. Um, I feel, feel like today I can get away with it because obviously I'm showing you what I'm eating, I've got a little recipe coming up for you now and also because I've, I've done like a Slimming World update, um, so I feel like I could get away with it today, that, is, that stain is really bothering me, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cook dinner now, I'm going to have a pulled pork burger for one sin with my Healthy Extra B, a wholemeal roll and usually when I have this I'll um, have chips with it but I had chips for my lunch so I didn't fancy it so I thought instead I'm going to have a side salad and do some vegan um, onion rings. So I'm excited to show you how I make these onion rings. I've never done them before. This is kind of like an experiment for me. Um, the, the actual Slim and Wild recipe for this, they use egg. So if you aren't vegan, um, you could use you could do the egg 
you could use egg, but I'm going to experiment and use almond milk instead. So this is a bit of an experiment for me, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start cooking now, guys. So let's show you how I make these onion rings. So I have just preheated the oven at 220 degrees, and now I'm going to prepare my onions. Um, so first of all, you just want to take however many onions you I'm just going to do one because it's just for me, and you're just obviously going to peel it and then cut it into slices to make nice rings. So as you can see here I am just slicing my onion up and then separating it to make loads of rings. I am now just spraying a baking tray with fry light and then I'm going to set it aside um, and place my onion rings onto them after they've been coated. Then place 20 grams of panko breadcrumbs into one dish and my almond milk into another. To the breadcrumbs I added smoked paprika, some Himalayan pink salt, some pepper and also some garlic granules and then I gave that a good mix up just to give the onion rings a little bit of extra flavour. Then I took my onion rings and coated it in the almond milk and then with my other hand I coated them with the breadcrumbs. So this is just a good little tip that I learnt from Nigella to use one hand for wet ingredients and the other hand for dry ingredients. I then placed them on my baking tray and go in the oven for 20 minutes and turn them halfway through. So guys, my onion rings are in. I don't know whether they were a fail or a success yet. I found it quite difficult to get the breadcrumbs to stick to the onion rings. I think obviously if you used egg, it's um, a lot easier. So I did what I could and then I sprinkled some on top. So we'll see how they come out. Hopefully they're nice. Um, if you guys can think of any other like alternatives to almond milk to get them to stick, I did try fry light as well, but that wasn't much good. So we'll see. And um, they're in the oven now. So I'm gonna make my side salad and um, put my burger in the oven. So I put about 25 grams of panko breadcrumbs into my little dish, but um, then when I weighed my dish, there was like 15 grams still in it. So there's around 10 grams on my um, onion ring. So for 25 grams, it's four and a half sins. I've only got 10 grams on there, so I'm gonna call it two sins for my breadcrumbs. Okay guys, so my tea is ready and it looks so good. I can't wait to tuck in. I must admit, the onion rings look like a bit of a fail. Uh, so yeah, so we need to play around with that recipe for sure, but I've just tasted one and they taste so good. Like the breadcrumbs literally taste like onion rings. So if you aren't vegan, play around with it. If you find a way of getting the breadcrumbs to stick properly, let me know. But I will keep playing around with that recipe because it does taste so nice. So I'll show you it now. So here is my tea. So I've got my um, side salad here and I have dressed that with my usual uh, fat-free Hellman's dressing. Then I've got my onion rings, mm, so delicious. So these are two sins because I've used 10 grams of the panko um, breadcrumbs. And then this is my burger. This is the Linda McCartney pulled pork vegan burger for one sin. And then I've got some rocket in there, some pickles, and then I've also measured out half a tablespoon of sriracha mayo for one sin. So this whole tea is four sins and I'm so excited to eat it. I'm going to make myself a nice big um, drink of apple juice and yeah, sit, relax and eat my yummy dinner. Mmm, can you hear that crunch? Hi guys, so I've had my tea and it was so delicious. I loved it so much. I definitely recommend trying those onion rings. I know they looked shite, but they were so tasty. My lipstick looks crazy. It looks like I've just got lip liner on. Um, but anyway, we're about to go now. I'm going to go and edit you guys at Rob's parents' house, go and chill with them for a bit. But I just wanted to come in here and show you what I'm taking there because I've got a few snacks for this evening, which obviously you aren't going to see because I'm going to edit you now. I'm going to take one of my spiced ginger teas, which I took out and oh my God, they smell amazing. They smell so gingery. They're so <coughs> they're so potent. They're like so ginger. So I'm hoping these are really nice. I'm also gonna take a pack of pineapple fingers, nibble arm, a pack of watermelon fingers, and you know me, I wouldn't be me without having an Oso bar a day. So I'm having an Oso bar as well for three sins. So today was a success. Um, I had almond milk as my healthy extra A. Uh, whole meal roll as my healthy extra B and then I finished the day on 14 and a half sins um, seven and a half for my peanut bar one for my burger two for my onion rings one for my sriracha mayo and 
three on my Oso bar. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe um, and follow me on Instagram at Indigo Olivia. And remember guys, if you have had a game this week, don't be too hard on yourself. The trick is to keep going. At the end of the day, this isn't a diet, it's a lifestyle change. So you are gonna have those weeks where you put on, your weight is gonna fluctuate slightly from time to time. So just don't give up, keep trying, keep going, keep making good choices. And um, yeah, just don't beat yourself up about it and just do your best, do what you can. Love you loads, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.